Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create heat transfer coil Revit family for air handling unit. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. To create copper tube family. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 500 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for L. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for D. Select instance and click OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter to D. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the sweep. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open front view. Sketch path. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Draw center and arc and lock to reference plane. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to D. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert dimension and add parameter for tube diameter. Select instance and click OK. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the sweep. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open front view. Sketch path. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Draw center and arc and lock to reference plane. Insert dimension and assign parameter to D. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert dimension and assign parameter to tube diameter. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to copper material. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the metal. Replace copper material. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Save the family. Go to family type. Add formula for D parameter. Click apply and OK. To create main family. Open the new family. Select the metric mechanical equipment model and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 1000 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for length. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 100 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. 
Insert another dimension and add parameter for depth. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Insert and load this created family into main family. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Keep type and click OK. Associate L parameter to length. Assign tube diameter parameter to tube diameter. Select instance and click OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 1000 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for height. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the family. Set 10 mm elevation from level. And click apply. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 80 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for age. Select instance and click OK. Select family and array. Array the family to next reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the array family. Add a new parameter for number of tube for vertical. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for number of tube parameter. Click apply. Add formula for H parameter. Click apply and OK. Check in 3D view. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 40 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for D. Select instance and click OK. Select family and array. Array the family to next reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the array family. Add a new parameter for number of tube for horizontal. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for number of tube parameter for horizontal. Click apply. Add formula for D parameter. Click apply and OK. Check in 3D view. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the sweep. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Edit profile in left view. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Offset 3 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view.
Go to front view. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Keep type and click OK. Go to family type. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Replace blue color metal plate material. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign visible parameter to middle support. Select instance and click OK. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 200 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for inlet outlet pipe offset. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 30 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for A. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for inlet outlet pipe diameter. Select instance and click OK. Set 40 mm for diameter value as default. Add formula for a parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for B. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for B parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the sweep. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open front view. Sketch path. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert dimension and assign to pipe diameter parameter. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. 
Go to Reference Level. Go to Create. Select the sweep. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open front view. Sketch path. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert dimension and assign parameter to pipe diameter. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to copper material. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Click apply and OK. Save the family. OK. Heat transfer coil rivet family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.